What's up, rock stars? It's Rox, and I am coming to you today with a review for the BET Awards 2019. Y'all, y'all know I love me a BET Awards uh, special. And uh, last year, thanks to Royce Morgan out there. How you doing, baby boy? He reminded me that I didn't do one last year, and that was because a year ago, remember, I couldn't get access to my, my, um, my YouTube account, and um, I had to skip one of my favorite videos to do of all times, you guys. So, uh, this is sort of like a coming back home moment for me, and um, I enjoyed... I enjoyed the awards ceremony last night. How did you guys feel about it? <laughs> Doesn't ceremony sound so formal? Uh, first of all, I've had coffee. I'm real wild up and my anxiety level is through the roof. I, I got a lot of shit going on. It's been shit going on these last couple of weeks. <laughs> you so y'all just be patient with me as I step forward in faith. But, uh, yeah, I did enjoy the show. Jada's actually out there in Los Angeles, and she went to all of the BET Award experiences, went to the concerts, had a great time, you know, went to the basketball game. Yeah, she she's loving it. This is her third year, um, so um, that is the highlight of <coughs> her trip to Los Angeles. Anyway, you guys, you know how we do it. First, we talk about the host. Then we talk about the presenters of the awards and the awards themselves. Um, then we talk about the performances and we talk about the special tributes. Okay? So that is the order of said video that is going on right here. Let's get to it, shall we? All right, you guys. So the host was Regina Hall this year. And I think she was last year as well. Regina Hall, uh, Hall is very, very funny. She's perfect as a host. It was funny the way the show opened. It was the a homecoming spoof, you know, the, the homecoming documentary that Beyonce did for Netflix. Okay, well, uh, Regina Hall was Beyonce, and she was auditioning people. You know, it was the whole black and white auditioning people um, from Washington, D.C. You know, I guess to be part of this go-go band or something. Uh, so, yeah, cracked up at that. She just has perfect timing for comedy so she, she's good at that and the opening number was a tribute to the hashtag don't mute DC and remember we talked about on top of the blogs how you know gentrification has given DC quite a bit of uh, strife lately um, with some of the residents not understanding what has been happening in that neighborhood for years and years and years and years and years. And years. All right. So, um, yeah, it was cool. They had the EU band open up. What's his name? Sugar Bear or Huggy Bear or something like that? He was off. He started before the song was supposed to get started, so it kind of threw the dancers off. They wasn't sure if they were supposed to get with him or stay with the music, and Regina Hall was going with him. Okay, so she was off and the dancers and child, I was just like, oh God, when are we going to finally, finally get back on track? And I think by the time we made it to Shelly got a big old butt, oh yeah, I think that was when they finally got back on track. But it was just like people was all over the place and I was just like, oh, you know. I, I, when I watch things like this, I, I pick up on what exactly is going on, and I could tell that everybody was kind of frazzled and not knowing what to do. <laughs> and then it was funny because when it was over, Regina Hall was like, I was the only one that was on beat. That shit was a mess. <laughs> <laughs> no, you kind of was with him who was off and everybody else didn't know what they had to do. But anyway, um, enjoyed that. I lo enjoyed all of the other skits that she did. Loved seeing 50 Cent jump in on her broadcast, you know, and, and say he needed his money today. He know that she working that day and probably wasn't going to get paid until the next day, but he going to need his money now. Love the whole thing about Idris Elba, you know, him getting married. And then the one-two punch was that um, <laughs> Trey Songz had a baby, you know, as a tribute to D.C. Uh, he named his baby um, Marion Barry Songz. <laughs> I was cracking up. <laughs> the bitch set him up. I loved everything about Regina Hall. She is really hilarious to me. And I think that they could keep her as a host Really, these award shows don't have to have a host, but if you are going to have a host, then it has to be somebody that is definitely going to make us laugh. And I feel like she's not afraid to take some risks. Kind of said a couple of jokes in there that might have been, you know, if the wrong person said it or if it didn't go off well, it, it may have offended some people. But like I said, she's got really good timing. So I think I thought that she did well. What did you guys think about Miss Regina Hall? Don't you love her? All right, you guys, so let's talk about the awards, you know. BET Awards is getting a little bit better. They gave away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, not including the special tributes, they gave away nine um, televised nine awards, okay, which I think the norm has been somewhere around five or six awards. So I was like, okay. Now, granted, the shit was um, four hours long. I was like, is it almost midnight? <laughs> Are we still watching this shit? So it did take a long time. Um, and maybe they whittled it down by the time it was recorded because we were watching it live, definitely being on the East Coast. But, um, yeah, so nine, nine awards. So let's start off with the first one. We had Yahara Shahidi. Okay, she gave the, uh, presented the um award <laughs> what was that for best new artist okay and that would be Lil Baby okay we started off with close friends I thought I told you that they anything even about you with diamond rings matching earrings everything was so cool somebody is parked right in front of me one of my um they work in my building they probably trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing hey y'all <laughs> anyway then we had um, Irv Gotti in the cast um, from Tales. You guys know he has a show on BET. Didn't realize that Justine Skye was on that show. She is so beautiful. What a beautiful girl. Anyway, they gave away the Young Stars Award, okay? And that went to Marseille Martin. Am I saying her name right? The little girl from Blackish, the youngest daughter, the twin. Um, she won for Young Stars Award, so good for her. Anderson Pack, he gave away the album of the year, just a smile, and he just seemed like a happy soul, doesn't he? And uh, who should you think would win that um, award? But Cardi B for Invasion of Privacy. What y'all feel about that lime green dress? It was interesting, huh? Not my favorite look on her. Then we had Al Sharpton. Okay, just this tiny, tiny thin, y'all. He just looked like a bobble. He gave away the award for Best Gospel Inspirational Album. And it went to Snoop Dogg. You guys remember that compilation album that he did? That actually was very good. It was a very good um, gospel album. But didn't that album come out a couple of years ago? I was confused. Okay, and I guess it depends on the dates of when people are able to enter for these, um, you know, maybe it carried somewhere into the latter parts of 2017 and then to half of 2008. I don't know how it worked, but that seemed like that, that album was, was older than this show, but <clears throat> moving on along, we had Lorenz Tate and Lala. They came out and they gave, uh, the best movie award to Black Klansman. Then we had Marseille Martin. Okay, she came out and gave the Best Actress Award. <laughs> it was so funny. This was another cute little skit where Regina Hall just knew that she had it, especially because she had just worked on the movie with Marseille, you know, being in that movie, The Littles or whatever it's called, the, the one that Marseille had executive produced. Um, but no, Regina King won. Regina Hall was like, did she say Regina King? Okay. Now then came down here and was working, and y'all get that bitch and tell her to come out here and do the presentation. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I knew Regina King was going to win. Um, <clears throat> Aisha Curry and Neo comes out. I was like, where Neo been? Y'all ain't seen him in a month of Sundays, okay? They gave the best international act to Burner Boy from Africa, okay? And he was there evidently, but he was gone somewhere. So Mama got up there and dropped a little knowledge on y'all, okay? Don't forget that uh, you black people out there, y'all was from Africa before you was anything else. All right. Put a little something for y'all to think about. Then we had Jacob Lattimore. <laughs> the girl just got out the car. She looking at me like, uh, what is she doing? Shaking her head like, uh. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to let y'all see her after. Uh, no, maybe I won't put the camera on her. She might not want to be on camera. But yeah, she real, real confused, y'all. Um, then we had Jacob Lattimore. He was presenting the Viewer's Choice Award and went to LMA. That was pretty much it for the awards, okay? Like I said, we're going to do the, the special tributes and presentations later, all right? So let's move it on to the performances. All right, you guys, so let's start with the opening of the show, okay? The Migos and Cardi B opened. Actually, it wasn't the Migos. It was Offset and Cardi B. That damn Offset got up there and had choreography. I was like, okay! I sure can appreciate some choreography. And how often do you get a rapper who has dancers and that actually dances up there like it never, ever happens? 
And maybe we didn't think that we was missing it until now that he does it. And then I'm thinking to myself, like, you know what? Some of these rappers could afford to probably get a little choreography out there. I mean, he was doing the little, <laughs> the little pop lock moves and everything. I was like, look at all Austin trying to do something up there. Did he used to do that? Y'all, I had never seen nothing like it, but you know, it seems like everybody then bit off, you know, a little bit of what Beyonce does and realizes that we need some stage presence. We need some people up there entertaining us. You know, it's all good to see people just walking around the stage and rapping, but all oh, how does it catch our eye when we see people up there performing? Or me. Even Jada told me, she was like, Mom, Cardi B is a really good performer. She is a really good entertainer. Okay, and when Cardi B got up there, um, and she was with Offset because they did um, uh, clout and press. So, you know, they, they, they did their shit together. Um, it was really, really good. Okay, that Cardi of Thickums, ain't she? I was like, now I know she got a little more work done. Okay, did they put some up in them thighs? Because, honey, that booty and that thigh almost looked like it would. It was, you know. <laughs> I mean, if we hadn't known better, at least she doesn't have that little thin, thin leg and then this big ass booty. I mean, all that do work together. So she spent some good money, good money on that ass and, and leg combo. But they did really, really well. And I thought it was a great opening to the show. Next, we had um, the baby. Is that the name? Oh, shit. You guys, I forgot that. Let, hold on one second. I got to listen to the song real quick because I want to sing it for you. I'm listening to it in my ear, y'all, because I got to remember how it go. Back in the mail is gone. She like the smell of cologne. I just signed a deal. I'm on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I go where I want. I'm good, good. Now I want it to. Yo, see, yo, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha. Huh? Pack it and mail is gone. She like I smell cologne. I just signed a deal. I'm on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I go where I want. I'm good. Just wrote this shit. I'm a young CEO. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. That song be jamming, y'all. I didn't know he was actually talking about Suge in the song. And then the next performance was Fantasia. Uh, she gave us a song from her new album. Uh, Spell? Sketchbook is the name of the album. And the song was cool. I think I need to hear the song on the, on the um, album, though, because it had a lot of musicality. It was a lot. It was almost complicated. And I couldn't really hear everything that was going on. I'm not sure if the music was too loud or... I mean, and, and that's saying something if the music is louder than Fantasia. I mean, she... It was a beautiful song. I really liked the song, but I just couldn't get... You know, I couldn't really get what was going on in the song. I have a feeling I'm going to like it when I hear it on the, um, you know, in my radio, in my car, though. Then we had Lizzo. My brother loved him some Lizzo. Okay, I didn't know anything about Lizzo. And then all of a sudden, I see Lizzo everywhere. She is on everything um, and unapologetic in her uh, plus size stature, as she should be. She's a beautiful girl. She looks just like the girl that does my eyelashes just like Mia. But anyway, I enjoyed this. I don't know what song she did, but it was upbeat. And I love the fact that she was up there in her little lingeries and she was twerking and child, she pulled out that flute. I said, girl, you just going to give it all to us today, ain't you? Then we had Lil Nas X and Billy Ray Cyrus. And you guys are just definitely going to make sure that I hear this damn song. I, I don't like the song, but you know, came not the boy for you know, getting a good gimmick and working it. That song continues to be at number one, or at least very high up on the charts if he's not still at number one, beating out a whole bunch of people. And, of course, we know that Billy Ray Cyrus... Now, is it true that Billy Ray Cyrus went to Howard? Because they kept on saying it. All right, so maybe it did happen that way. Billy Ray Cyrus get a little street cred, even though y'all don't see it for his daughter too much anymore. But, you know, he was the one that helped put Lil Nas X... Well, give him a little bit more of some oomph because when the country music world tried to put him out the song is not country okay y'all can put billy ray on there if you want to but because billy ray gave it that um that sign off then i think that has also helped little nas x and good for little nas x for you know being able to achieve what he has like i said the song ain't for me but then we'll see what they say he's got a new song out right he's released a new song we'll see how that one does and then, and then we'll go from there but he might be another case of a trinidad james okay anybody where's where's trinidad yeah anybody 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 
And we had the city girls out there, or maybe I should say one city girl. We know uh, the other one, JT Money, is in jail. Okay, free JT. We had Young Miami get out there and do Act Up, You Can Get Snatched Up. I don't know what else she say, but I like that song. And then we had Lil Baby. Okay, we started off with Close Friends. That same guy, he came out there and did some other song. What was the song, y'all? That was the same boy, ain't he? That's what I got in my notes. But y'all know I didn't have Jada around and Joe was downstairs. So I couldn't, you know, I couldn't get him to tell me what everybody was doing. But I think that was the same little young man, all these babies. First it was little this and little that, then it was young this and young that, and now we got baby this and baby that. Then we had D the Migos and Mustard. I was like, why do they keep on calling him Mustard? I said, well, he must want to just be known as Mustard now that I guess he's performing. So we cut the DJ off, which actually sounds stupid. I mean, you can still be DJ Mustard and be up there rapping and everything, but no, he, he just Mustard, y'all. <laughs> okay, so Mustard and the Migos do Masterpiece, and that song is jamming. Not quite as much choreography there, but they still gave on a good show, you know, walked around and did their little thing. We had n lights and flashings and whatnots. Okay, but that, that song definitely do be jamming. Okay, not as not as good as uh um uh uh in the kitchen wrist twisted like a stir fry. In the kitchen wrist twisted like a stir fry. I wanted them to sing that, but maybe that's too old. Is that from the same album? No, probably not, huh? Then we had DJ Khaled come out with Meek Mill, and actually it was a whole bunch of other people. Some little boy, um, I shouldn't call him little boy. I mean, he's a grown man, I'm sure. But you know, he had a little twist, like you know, little braid twist blonde. He was the singing part of it, but Meek Mill did the rap, and then we also had Baby again. Was it Lil Baby or was it the Baby? Okay, one of them babies. They was also on the song, and then we had uh, Kirk Franklin. You know, they had to do their obligatory um, uh, gospel section. Um, pray with me uh, for, <laughs> for Kirk Franklin's shirt. Y'all, that shit was so tight. I mean, it was all up on. The, I said, do we have light red? <laughs> I felt sorry for his buttons. I just knew it was going to pop off. They did his song. Um, what was the name of the song? I love the song. I love the song. Cannot think of the name of the song. Y'all wanted to sing it for you. Oh, I can't think of it right now. But um, that rounds out the performances for the show. Let's get to our special awards. Okay, first we had a special recognition, I should say. They didn't really get an award, but um, we had the Exonerated Five. Okay, some of you guys might remember them as the Central Park Five, but now that their names have been cleared, they're the Exonerated Five. They were all there. They got a standing ovation, as they should have. I love to see them up there. They actually did a, they were introducing her. Oh my God, I left her out. How did I leave her out of the performances? Her did awesome. The song that she did had the poetry at the beginning, and then, the, you know, the, she sang, she played the, the, the big bass, okay, the real bass, like the cello, but bigger, um, had the rapper come out there, I mean, did excellently, and she's just so beautiful to me, inside and out, very smart, she's starting to show herself more, I mean, we still can't see her face, but you can tell that she's a beautiful girl, she does still wear her glasses, but it's good to see that her is starting to speak more, because even on the red carpet, and child, that red carpet was a fucking mess, Ugh. Just let me just say real quick that they're going they to have to do something about the red carpet. For the show to go as smoothly as they as it does, they need to invest that also into their red carpet. Okay, or the blue carpet, I should say, because they was doing a tribute to Nipsey and everything was blue. But, you know, you got people that are watching your show. This is your pre-show for the, the award show, and people are missing their cues. Um, folks don't know if they live or not. I mean, Lizzo was up there and could have really said some shit. She didn't even know that she was live. Meg the Stallion almost missed her cue. I mean, we waiting for her to come up. We live on TV now. Y'all want to do something about this. Okay, let's put a little bit more into that pre-show. But anyway, getting back to it. Yeah, her did very, very well. Enjoyed her performance. I feel like I've been yelling and really racing. Let me, let me slow it down a little bit. Okay. Um, Rihanna, we had her present the Lifetime Achievement Award to our girl, Mary J. Blige. I mean, what can be said about Mary J. Blige that hasn't been said already? Definitely a living legend. I love the fact that she got up there and said that not only is she a living legend and a leader and a queen, okay, but she also is a servant, 
All right. And and I just loved her speech because Mary, who hasn't always had the most self-confidence, is very, very confident and aware of her worth right now. And I just love to see that in Mary. OK, we have truly seen Mary grow from being this girl from where is she from? Child, don't let me get the lion because I know how y'all feel about y'all New York boroughs out there. Uh, I, I'm scared to even say. I know it started with a B. Don't they all start with a B? <laughs> but um, I loved it. And then when she walked off, I was like, oh, wait a minute, we're not about to have a tribute? And child, then we got uh, Puffy up there. And um, he did the little intro for... I was like, oh, they about to give it to us, you guys. And man, Mary J. Blige brings back such great memories of when me and Debbie lived together and all the parties that we used to have. I mean, definitely the soundtrack to my 20s, all of her early albums. I mean, we were all over Mary all the time. All right. So it was good to see the songs that she did. Let's see. First, she started out with, um, if you look in my life, you see what I see. La -da 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 -da. Then we moved on to No More Drama. No more tears. No more pain. No drama. No more drama in my life. Something, 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 something. Then we went on to I'm going down. I'm going down. Cause you ain't around, baby. Honey, me and Debbie used to put that on and get drunk to it and just fall asleep on the couches in our, in our living room, y'all. That was, you know, it was a little tough spot there. Then we went on to real love. Mm. I'm searching for a real love. Someone set my heart free, real love. I'm searching for a real love. Then we went on to Ooh, You remind me, yeah. You remind me of such sweet memories. Should I do it, y'all? I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Did y'all sing with me? <laughs> y'all know y'all wanted to. Then we went on to All I really want is to be happy To find another smile It will be so Then we went on to Said I'm loving you Loving you. I had to bring it on down, y'all. I'm getting out of breath. Loving you every day. I'm loving you. Don't you look no more. Love without limit. You know, you know. <laughs> y'all, this is fun. Then we went on to, I can love you. I can love you better than she sitting here. Wondering why you don't love me. The way and then we heard the dun, 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 dun. I was like, uh oh, there go method man, there go my boy. Cry for me, cry for me. I swear to God, I hope a fucking die for me. Hey, that's the song. You're up. I need to get by. Y'all, that's the jam. Oh, we had a party one time and the par and the power went out. Y'all, we brought out the damn uh, boom box and played that song in the dark. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Debbie, do you remember that? Bitch, that shit was so much fun. Pull my wig down, y'all. I'm getting a little too excited. <clears throat> and then we close it out with, I won't change my life, my life. Just fine, 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 fine. Ooh, fine, 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 fine. Ooh, just fine, 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 fine. Ooh, see, I won't change my life, my life. Just it was great. I mean, they gave her a good 15, 20 minutes, and that's another good thing about BET Awards. They always give these tributes the time that they need to make the shit happen. So enjoyed it immensely. Then we had also a special uh, tribute to um, John Singleton. That was done by Morris Chestnut and the kid from um, Snowball. What's his name? 
isn't it something to hear his accent? <laughs> okay, he does such an L.A., uh, you know, L.A. kid accent so well. And turns out he's British. And then lastly, we had T.I. I don't know why y'all insist on hoisting T.I. on us, okay? But he did do the special tribute um, to Nip Nipsey Hussle. It was the Humanitarian Award. It was very similar to the funeral. We had Lauren London and um, her kids... Um, you know, his kids, one with her, the other daughter from the other girl, um, his sister who came up there in a full blue rag outfit. I said, bitch, you better go off. <laughs> I wasn't mad. Child, she be representing. And um, the mom and the dad got up there. You know, the family, they all got up there and they all spoke. And pretty much it was very similar to the, you know, what they said at the funeral. They had Marcia Ambrosius who sang you know very similar to what she sang at the um at the funeral they had yg perform i believe was it yg y'all i believe it was yg don't don't uh, don't quote me though i think it was but then of course the final um tribute song was the song that dj khaled has with john legend and my only request the song is is really good and I enjoyed the tribute. My only request is that they would do these tributes earlier. I know they're trying to keep everybody, the audience, you know, making sure that they watch until the end. But when it's midnight, we tired, you know. And I believe also, even though it wasn't midnight in L.A., it was late. They had been there for hours. I feel like the excitement for the performance is not the same as if they would have even done it. Maybe just y'all could have did it. You know, three hours in. But we almost at the end of four hours, child. Folks was tired. Okay, so that's something for them to think about. But the tribute was very, very nice. And again, still can't even believe that Nipsey Hussle is, you know, not with us anymore. And then um, they, they closed out the show with Johnny Gill up there singing. <laughs> um, um, you make me happy. What's the name of the song? Why well, I can't think of the name of the song. You know, the song that, uh, doom, doom, doom. Doom, doom, doom. Oh my God! I cannot not think of the song. I'm gonna put it on the screen. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know, um, uh, 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 um, Maze, Frankie Beverly and Maze's song that Beyonce just recently did. They had him sing out the ending, which was like so random, right? I mean, I enjoyed it. We all love to see old Johnny Gill up there jumping around on the stage <laughs> with his little fluffy self. Oh, Johnny didn't put on a pound or two, right? But it's grown man pounds, so it's okay. But, um, yeah, so that was it. And, you guys, I really did enjoy the show. I know a lot of people don't really dig the BET Awards, but I enjoy it every single year, okay? And this year was no different. I thought they did an exceptional job, though. Y'all going to have to tighten up on that on that uh, uh, um, red carpet, okay, a blue carpet this year. But other than that, enjoyed it a lot. What did you guys think? Give me your good, your bad, and your ugly. All right, rock stars, I, I got to bring it down. Because <laughs> I'm real pumped up here. I can't wait to see that lady in the um building and see if she's going to say something to me and ask me what I was doing. But anyway, you guys, let me get off of here. Still got to do claws. Make sure that you rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'm It's Rocks. The channel is For It's Rocks. And everything else I do will be in the bottom bar. All right. All right. So I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. I plan on doing the same. Till next time, rock stars. Bye.